Hi friends, today we will be talking about the stoichiometry for the formation of a typical triose phosphate by using a typical Calvin cycle. We know that this is the part of the dark reaction of the typical photosynthesis. We have studied that the entire process it takes place in three steps which we know is first step of carboxylation, the second step is of reduction and synthesis and the third step is of regeneration. We will not be focusing on the steps here, but we will be focusing on the stoichiometry of the entire Calvin cycle for formation of a typical triose phosphate. So here you can see that there are three molecules of ribulose 1,5 bisphosphate, which is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor in this Calvin cycle or C3 pathway. With the help of Rubisco, these three molecules of ribulose 1,5 biphosphate, they combine with three molecules of CO2 to form six molecules of phosphoglycerate, three phosphoglycerate. So we have 3 into 5, we know that ribulose 1,5 biphosphate is of 5 carbon atoms. So 3 into 5, we have 15 carbon atoms. So 3 carbon atoms added in the form of carbon dioxide, we have total 18 carbon atoms. With 6 molecules of 3 phosphoglycerate, we have 6 into 3, that is again 18 carbon atoms. So we are now 15 plus 3, 18 carbon atoms. This then undergoes a reduction. First, it undergoes phosphorylation with ATP. So, six molecules of ATP, they donate their phosphate group to form six molecules of 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate. This is then reduced with six molecules of NADPH to form six molecules of glyceridehyde 3-phosphate which isomerizes with dihydroxyacetone phosphate. So, we have converted it into 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate then into glyceridehyde 3-phosphate uh, or DHAP which isomerize with each other and from this one molecule of glyceridehyde 3-phosphate it goes out of the cycle for synthesis. So, we have formed one molecule of glyceridehyde 3-phosphate a 3-carbon compound. From this, once we remove one molecule, we have five molecules. So, you have six into three, that is 18 carbon atoms. One molecule you have removed. This is again three carbon atom molecule. So, 18 minus three, we have again 15 carbons arranged in the form of five molecules of glyceridehyde 3-phosphate or DHAP. Now, they both isomerize with each other. We have 15 carbon atoms. This is then converted to three molecules of ribulose 5-phosphate, which is of each five carbon atoms. So, we have... 5 into 3 that is 15 or we have 3 into 5 again which is 50. These 3 molecules of ribulose 5-phosphate they are converted or phosphorylated by ATP. We have used 3 molecules of ATP to convert this ribulose 5-phosphate to ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate to form this first compound which was the initial acceptor completing the cycle. So, in the entire formation of this glyceridehyde 3-phosphate, we have used 6 plus 3, that is 9 molecules of ATP and we have used 6 molecules of your NADPH and H+. So, for glucose, if you calculate, everything will be twice. So, instead of 9 molecules of ATP now, you require 18 molecules of ATP and instead of 6 molecules of NADPH, you require 12 molecules of your NADPH. So, this is the stoichiometry for a typical Calvin cycle. Thank you.